Today I'm here with Kim Morley whose role is faculty coordinator for the Exeter College Apprenticeship Team. Thank you very much for joining me today, Kim. I know you've got a very busy schedule. Um, I'm really <laughs> excited to hear what, what you have to say. So thank you. No, absolute pleasure. No, it's nice to be here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to um, strike a bit of a different tone with this uh, interview today, and I wanted to get your individual experience, um, hoping yep. that people who are watching can uh, relate to it. So can you tell us about your journey um, into the world of apprenticeships and, and how that's developed into your current role with Exeter College today? Yeah, I definitely can. So um, I started uh, off basically coming to college to do a level two and a level three BTEC in business. I've always had a sort of business interest. I did that as a GCSC at school. Um, so I completed both of my BTECs. And then after that, I sort of thought, what can I do? How do I get into the place of work? And um, how do I start, you know, applying what I had already learned about business actually into a business environment? Um, so I came into the apprenticeship hub, which was actually over at the Hill Building, but now it's moved over to um, we're on Queen Street now. And I spoke to Mike directly, who is the director of apprenticeships at the college. And basically he said to me, what are you interested in? You know, what, what's your, what have you done previously? And um, there was actually a role at the apprenticeship team so um it was a bit of a strange sort of moment where you sort of think how does that work you know you're an apprentice in the apprenticeship team but it definitely did work so I did my business uh, level three apprenticeship with them and shortly after that I progressed on to a level three team lead apprenticeship which I believe was the best one I ever did um it's given me the real confidence in my role currently as the faculty coordinator um just to be able to sort of mentor the apprentices um you know helping everyone in the team know you know if they need anything on there and I think it's just about you know getting the confidence being motivated and if you really want to go for bigger and better things then just to go for it really that's the best advice I would give. <laughs> so um, how have you managed to switch off from the world of work during this pandemic because uh, yeah. I think lots of people would have struggled to do this with um, working from home so mm -hmm. how, how have you done it? I've been quite lucky. So before lockdowns, I was always really into sort of fitness. So I've just sort of continued that throughout. So in my personal life, I've just, yeah, I've been concentrating on sort of um, getting fitter and sort of spending more time sort of going out on walks and stuff like that. And then more sort of work based, I, I think the most important thing that I've done over lockdown is sort of allocate time um because I do appreciate that especially working from home it's quite challenging to allow yourself to do work within certain times so I think it's just being strict on that and it's you know allowing yourself that time to do that task and then being really strict with yourself that actually you need to move on um but yeah I think it, for me I don't really struggle with motivation I like my job I like the people that I work with and I think that's all you can really ask for in a role is just to feel like you're valued and to do you know to be able to do work which actually makes a difference definitely um so what would you say your personal aspirations are for the future yeah this is a good question so I'm not really sure um so I just want to continue learning and I think that's the most important thing I think you know to, to sort of stunt your learning and not really do any more I think is, is a real shame so um potentially another apprenticeship I'm not sure um I am doing a course at the moment which is a mentoring course which I do think which has been really helpful and I think just to continue my learning really that way and I don't know whether what the future holds for me but I think just um having a you know having a role which is mainly around people and being around you know customer service and sort of helping others I think that's just all I can really ask for in a role so anything towards that really but I'm not 100% sure but you know just constantly bettering myself I think is the most important thing that I can do. I think that's really inspiring to hear that you want to keep keep learning and keep improving in your role um, that's really lovely yeah. to hear um so lots of people um especially the younger generation will have found it uh, really hard to stay motivated um mm -hmm. during this pandemic um so what keeps you motivated and what piece of advice would you give to these people um lacking motivation at the moment 
Yeah, I think what I would say is just go for your main interest. So if you're looking at applying currently, then, you know, you need to just go for something that you're interested in. There's no point applying for an apprenticeship, which, you know, you think might be a good idea, but actually you don't have a real interest in it. You've got to be, you know, you've got to be able to remember that you've got to spend all your time doing that sort of task and that role. So it's just about doing something you enjoy. And I think to stay motivated that's that's what you need to to have really is just to have something you enjoy something that you feel like you can get a lot out of um and I think for me like just you know if it, in terms of being motivated speak to people about it if you're struggling to be motivated um find the root cause of it is it you know the fact that you've got too much going on at home um you know do you feel like you, you've got too much work to do you know it's just identifying what the problem is and trying to find a solution and once you find the solution try and create a plan and that's what kind of what I've done in the past I mean I've definitely you know there's been times in the past where I've had loads of coursework that I had to do for my apprenticeship and juggling that around work can sometimes be really challenging but um definitely like I said before just allocating time giving yourself a plan of what you need to do and just sticking to that plan and just being fair to yourself I think is the most important thing as well. Thank you very much. I've really enjoyed speaking to you today and hearing what you have to say and your, your lovely advice um, that I will definitely take on. And mm -hmm. um, I hope that lots of people will as well. So again, thank you very much. No, absolute pleasure. Thanks for um, inviting me here, Georgia. And it's nice to see you. Um, so please make sure you speak to Kim as well as all our lovely team at the um, Apprenticeship Hub at Exeter College um, if you want to find out more about apprenticeships or have any queries at all. Thanks Georgia.